Hey YouTube, welcome back. So I don't wanna spend a lot of time on this today because I've already talked a lot about this subject in a couple of my past videos, but I wanted to quickly cover it because it's yet another example of what is a broader disinformation campaign by the media. The very same media that for the last few years has told us one of the greatest threats this country faces right now is disinformation. I think at this point, we all know that they're just fine with disinformation as long as it's being used as a tool to accomplish their agenda. All the while telling themselves it's different when they do it because they're doing it for good reasons. Law enforcement officers want people to be checked. They want the universal background check. They would love to see some tighter control on automatic or semi-automatic uh, long guns. Wrong. So raising the age, for example, to 21 is um, most police officers agree to that. They would love red flag laws on a national basis. So much bullshit in just one little tiny snippet of this clip. One, automatic guns have been all but outlawed since the early 1900s. The only way to obtain an automatic weapon of any kind is to get a class three license, which is only issued to the ATF and some gun manufacturers. Why is this guy erroneously claiming that all police officers want tighter control of a weapon that's already banned and hasn't been used in any modern mass shootings. So why is this expert even talking about this in the first place? Is it out of pure ignorance or is this former FBI agent purposely lying? After all, he is one of these so-called experts who claimed the Hunter Biden laptop story was Russian disinformation. If your average American thinks that every gun out there is automatic, it's gonna be a lot easier to pass gun bans. Two, he claims to be speaking for all police officers, but the sheriff offices and places like Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have all refused to enforce stricter gun laws and have spoken out against them. Also, isn't it a little strange that for the last few years, these same people have claimed that police officers are a threat to Americans, but are now suddenly saying that everyone should be disarmed and police officers should be the only ones with guns. Officers who have shown they'll let kids die while they stand around doing nothing. Those officers? Uh, I would say if we couldn't enact them a decade ago, but certainly after you've all if we can enact them, uh, what does it say about the state of American democracy? Oh yeah, just look at that face. If there's anyone I trust on gun facts, it's this far left adult who looks like a baby with Rachel Maddow glasses. Here again, we see that Democrat propagandists wanting their audiences thinking that democracy is getting what we want. Well, see, that's the challenge, and I'm really glad you raised that because I don't want to be really too dark about all of this, but, uh, you know, the great threat to democracy is its failure to deliver. Wrong. Wow. Okay. So the government did deliver in that case. They delivered continued protection and acknowledgement of our natural constitutional rights. If people begin to think that you can't, you don't have a government that can do its basic functions like keep your child alive, then you have a real crisis here. And you know, Nick made a great point here. Uh, the debate is not over these specific pieces of legislation because what what is the case? You know, against red flag laws or against background checks. And people like Ted Cruz say, you know, that we need to focus more on mental health well okay fine but that's completely meaningless then if you don't allow background checks so that police can determine whether or not um, somebody who is mentally ill and dangerous can get a gun wrong 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 Every single legal gun purchase in this country requires a federal background check. Even if you buy online, even if you buy at a gun show, it requires a federal background check. And every single state in this country. The two most recent shooters, the ones you're talking about right this moment, both pass background checks. The laws don't work. We've seen this over and over again. We cannot uninvent guns. We have to deal with reality and implement a solution that might actually stop these psychopaths. And I don't know, how about we do something that might actually be affected in protecting our kids? Like tighter security, armed guards, and training of teachers who volunteer. That might actually keep kids safe though. And then they wouldn't be able to produce this propaganda to come after your gun rights. Okay, not much else to say about this except to reiterate that they are definitely working overtime to conflate automatic with semi-automatic, which most guns are. One trigger pull, one shot. They are clearly doing this to make it easier to eventually ban all guns. All right, folks, that's it for that one. If you enjoyed this video, please give that like button a little tickle, share this video, and leave a comment to kick that algorithm in the ass. Thanks a lot. See you next time.